everyone, I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein. This is Vehicle Virgins. Smash that subscribe button because we've got awesome vlogs coming out every single day. Now today, I'm doing something a little crazy. This car looks so damn good when it's clean. Black cars though, never again. For those of you guys that didn't hear, there were crazy, crazy fires in Southern California. Many people lost their homes, a couple of people lost their lives. It was very tragic, some of the biggest fires of all time. And just seeing those burnt hillsides, it's scary looking. It's creepy looking. Oh, I feel so bad. I guess in case the world ends via fires and SpaceX launches that look like missiles being deployed, you'd be relatively safe in the vehicle I'm about to drive today. Whoa, this U-turn's insane and it appears uh, everybody who smashed into the wall right there agrees. This lowered all road is sick. Props, dude, that thing is wild. I love it. Bro, an M740 IL doesn't exist. What is that? No, take them off. There are tasteful modifications, like this all road is sitting on some awesome wheels. It's clearly lowered, has a nice exhaust. And then there are not tasteful modifications. Putting M badges on your non-M car. You're not fooling anyone, and that doesn't look cool, dude. Dang, it's festive in Beverly Hills. For those who haven't been to Beverly Hills, the cars are ridiculous. Me driving around in this S-Class right now, this is like the most basic starter pack vehicle for people in Beverly Hills. I've seen like five Five Rolls Royces in the last two minutes. Ooh, that is a sexy Gran Turismo. Just showed up to the montage. We got a 488, a Carrera GT, and the Resvani tank. So guys, I've just been given the keys to one of the coolest, most wild vehicles I've ever driven on vehicle versions. The company Resvani, the people behind the beast, one of the coolest two-door supercars I've ever seen, has now come out with a tank. And I don't mean a tank, I mean it is literally called the Resvani tank. The Resvani tank starts life as a Jeep Wrangler. Obviously, it looks nothing like a Jeep Wrangler, which is good because it'll cost you $155,000 just as the base price. Options go up from there. Get this, if you want to bulletproof it against armor-piercing rounds, $97,000 option. My favorite part about the Resvani tank is the reactions that it gets because nobody knows what it is. When it drives down the road, everyone looks at it and goes, what? People whip out their phones, everyone's yelling at each other, what is that, what is that? And then when they read that it says tank on the side, everyone laughs. The rear of the Resvani tank is incredibly unique. Obviously, the Resvani tank is incredibly capable on the off-road as well. For 5,500 bucks, you can get an off-road package with a six inch lift. Currently, this has a 3.6 liter V6, but for $32,000, you can put a 500 horsepower 6.4 liter V8 under the hood of this bad boy. You can also get it in an automatic or a manual. Imagine driving a tank that looks like this with a manual transmission. The options list on this thing is crazy and unlike any other vehicle. You want this thing ballistic proof? Okay, if it comes with gas masks, the door handles will shock you if you try to open them. The Resvani tank is literally for the apocalypse. If that happens, I'm pretty sure every single person who owns a Resvani tank will be just fine. Parts of the Resvani look exactly like a Jeep Wrangler, namely the whole dash, the instrument cluster, so on and so forth. But they have fitted the seats with incredibly nice leather. I like this pattern. It actually kind of looks like the seats out of a Ferrari 430. We've got a decent amount of room in the back, plenty of headroom, and we've got Alcantara. We got the camera set up on the tank. Now we're going to take this thing down Rodeo Drive and see what people have to think of the Resvani. Oh, I love that that automatically folds down. We've got these handles here to help yourself get up into the car. Honestly, I really like how easy this thing is to drive. You could actually daily drive a freaking tank. Oh, you have a Rolls Royce? Well, uh, I have a tank. Here are the window switches. That's interesting. Oh, wow, look at that.
obviously the Resvani tank isn't for everyone. It's very expensive, it's outlandish in its styling. But in Southern California, the land of G-Wagons, where everyone's driving around in their box-shaped vehicles just to look cool, the Resvani tank stands out extremely well. But what I like about driving the Resvani tank is it's actually not challenging to drive whatsoever. Now it looks really big from the outside. It looks imposing, it's menacing, it's wild. But when you drive it, it drives just like a Jeep Wrangler, which isn't that intimidating to pilot whatsoever. Yes, I'm really high off the road, looking over the hood, it looks like I'm driving a semi truck, but it's not actually all that wide of a vehicle, which means driving it around town isn't that difficult. We've got Apple CarPlay, we have a thermal vision system. If you fully spec this car, it comes with a hypothermia kit. They've literally thought of everything in case the world spontaneously decides to end, which hopefully it doesn't. But if it does right now, I will be fine. Oh, driving this thing around is hilarious. This is the smaller motor. Let's see if it has any grunt to it. Shockingly, it only weighs 4,200 pounds. I'm not sure how that's possible, but 4,200 pounds really isn't all that heavy for a vehicle that looks this crazy. I will say, this is by no means a full review. I've been given the opportunity to drive this very briefly by Petrol Girl. Thank you so much for making that happen. So Resvani, I would love to do a full review of this car, go over everything. Honestly, I just kind of hopped in. I don't know a ton about it. I'm experiencing it for the first time, just like you guys are. Oh my gosh. It's so funny, we've got bumper to bumper traffic here, but I feel like I could just mount the curb and go around all of it in this thing. Oh, hello, G63. I bet you wish you had a tank. Looks like a tank. <laughs> seen an attention level like this in any supercar ever. Doesn't matter, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Bugatti, this tank, every single person is whipping out their phone to take pictures of it. It's unbelievable. So obviously, I can't take advantage of any of the amazing features this thing has to offer. All of the off-roading capability, I'm in the middle of Beverly Hills right now in traffic, but it is comfortable to drive at slow speeds, and the attention it garners is off the charts. I mean, more than any other car I've ever experienced. It's time to return this thing now, but man. Resvani, if you're watching this video, I would love to get some more time with the tank to really showcase what this thing's all about. Look at it next to a GLE, a Range Rover, and a G-Wagon. It just <laughs> looks so absurd. Now this is a guy who I just met. Now check out, one, how cool his wheels are. They've got custom paint matched barrels, but two, he actually put lettering on the back, I dig it. There's Ramin from Gold Rush up ahead in that beautiful black 488. All right, so I'm back at my house after driving a tank and I thought I'd do a little Q&A session with you guys. So I posted a picture of the beast on my Instagram, at Vehicle Virgins, follow me there. I think it's cool to be able to interact with you guys and answer your exact questions when I had just driven the vehicle. First question, does the Resvani tank get girls? Now this car got more attention than anything I've ever seen. Seriously, I'm pretty sure you could roll up in an orange Bugatti and the tank would get more attention. So in my opinion, yes, the tank does get girls. What's the interior like? Now they completely redid the seats. They're incredibly comfortable, like ridiculously so. I like the design. The interior in general pretty much looks like a Jeep Wrangler for $200,000 plus when you get some awesome options on the vehicle. I think they could have done a better job with the interior. What kind of reactions did you get? Well, anything from what the hell is that to the world is ending to nice car. 
Oh yeah, my brother has one of those. Probably not. Actually, the best part was seeing the G-Wagon owners in Beverly Hills. There's this one guy on his phone in front of his G63, and he's like, I have to call you back. Whips out his phone, takes a bunch of pictures. He's like, oh shoot, time to sell the G-Wagon. How much horsepower does the vehicle have? So it has two options, a V6 or a V8. The V6, 285 horsepower, that's the one that I drove. It's a little bit sluggish, but it's reliable, it's cheaper. And then you can opt for the 500 horsepower V8. Definitely the way to go. Does it come in a gas or diesel option? Just gas. <laughs> From Nolan Sherrill, what was it like driving it compared to losing your virginity? Actually the exact same experience. What's so special about it? I mean, it's a tank. It looks ridiculous. It's very capable on the off-road. What other vehicles come with thermal vision sensors and gas masks? Would you get one? What are the pros and cons of having one and could you use it as a daily driver? Now, it does drive like a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited for the most part, so you could drive it around on the daily basis. What's the miles per gallon? Apparently, with the V6, it gets 25 miles per gallon. The vehicle doesn't actually weigh all that much. Yes, you could daily drive it. Would I get one? I Honestly, I'm not a big SUV person. I was kind of choosing between a G-Wagon or the S-Class. I picked the S-Class. I don't regret that whatsoever. And if I wanted to have something that's crazy off-road, absolutely, I'd pick one up. Is it worth $100,000 to buy just a heavily modified Jeep? Well, the fact that it looks absolutely nothing like a Jeep, the body panels alone make it look like an extremely expensive vehicle. Then it actually has very, very intense suspension from Fox Racing, and you can upgrade that and upgrade that. Is it worth $100,000 more than a Jeep? I don't know if I can answer that. I'd much rather have this than a Jeep. Can you crush Priuses in it? Thank you, Bryce Rogers 17. That is the most important question I've gotten all day. Yes, you can definitely crush Priuses in the Resvani tank. For those that joined the channel recently, I used to live in Michigan, and this was actually my license plate when I lived in Michigan for the S-Class. I would love a custom license plate for the S-Class. What do you guys think? S-Class and Huracan suggestions for the license plate. Oh, also E63. Maybe I'll pick the top rated comments, we'll see. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my time with the Resvani tank getting the most ridiculous reactions I have ever seen out of any vehicle. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, smash that subscribe button, join the Vehicle Virgins family. I look forward to seeing you next video. Thank you.